Hey guys, I'm studying the game yesterday that happened between Hikaru Nakamura and Magnus Carlsen and the game was really awesome. A lot of insanity happened in the game and it started with D4 by Hikaru Nakamura and then he went for Knight F6. So Indian defenses, Indian game and the opening all started like a typical Queen's Gambit declined exchange position line. And now, a theoretical move by Hikaru Nakamura. Now Magnus has started chasing this bishop. So you can see that if you are playing with the black pieces, you can start chasing the bishop as early as at the move number six. He retreats, and this bishop gets a life early. Once you chase, you have this knight. You are not under a pin position but what if you take this you will take this so you cannot take that you have to move the knight pin or you have to block it and hikaru blocks it using this pawn very strong move agnes retrieves and this is the position where you keep your bishop in queen's gambit with nine but first it is a move where you have for some weaknesses because now this Square is a little bit weak, but it also has given a control more over the center. And the bishop develops at d3 square, and then Magnus attacks the center, develops the knight, passes, passes, and a rook to e1. The typical developing move looking for the majority attack in near future putting the knight over here and then you are having a very good control over the e4 square rooks on the e file trying to put the rook on the semi open file it's good for both the players and now he has brought the bishop back there is a potential chance of attack from this knight to this both positions so you cannot keep your queen over here what he's looking for so he has put his knight over he want to get rid of this bishop i think takes takes this is a good uh, move why because it attacks it forces you to take the knight and then so this is a, an intermediate move so beginners who are watching this you can see this is an intermediate move takes 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 again there is an intermediate move he has not taken it yet but hikaru has is looking for the intermediate move so the idea of intermediate move is very important and magnus saves his still he is not taken why what is the reason what is the reason that he is not taking with the let us see what happens if you take it what will happen okay you cannot take it because you get a very strong fork bishop c5 is coming and then you lose the queen you lose the game so now he has first made this move and now he has attacked the knight with the bishop knight retreats he has not fallen for the trap he was magnus was weaving the trap but he has not fallen for it and now he gets the free pawn and here hikaru looks very strong the engine is giving plus 0.65 now magnus pushes his pawn so magnus says when he don't understand anything he pushes the pawn he retreats he uh, tries to attack the bishop discovering an attack on the knight knight comes back the knight wants he wants to exchange the knight but this is a brilliant move let us figure out why this move is brilliant this move is brilliant because it is attacking this knight and if you capture this knight he will take the queen either way by discovering an attack and it happened Agnes missed this and now Hikaru took the queen 
That's a brilliant idea by Hitaru. So this was a brilliant move. Why brilliant move? Because there was a piece hanging and once you take it, there is a discovery check and that's you are going to lose it. And after this, Magnus was down the queen till he was up pieces. You can see there are two bishops again, two knights and a bishop and two rooks. So, Karu is down a piece, but Magnus is up in material, but his king is a bit exposed. Let us see. So Hikaru makes, puts his bishop safe because he is down a piece, so he needs to maintain that. And here, this move has come. It's a normal move, but still white is at advantage with plus 3.2. Now attacks the bishop. Bishop comes there. And now he is looking for some another good move. And here is the key point. So he takes, he takes, he takes, attacking the knight. Let us see what happens. He takes the bishop, he takes the knight. And now this is getting critical. This is coming. And Magnus is going to win the rook with a queen in the process. Because the d pawn is now very powerful. And here Hikaru makes a blunder. The computer says it's a blunder. But there are good moves like you can play rook d4 and you can also play rook e1 directly. If you go for rook e1 directly, rook captures e1, this captures with a queen but then this is capturing. So Hikaru played this with lots of thinking but the engine is saying that it's a blunder. But the game proceeded with this great, brilliant move, great move you can say. He takes and this is a great move again. So Hikaru plays two great moves in this entire match. He takes, he takes and now Magnus is up. But up two piece. But these two past pawns are as good as two queens. And now the game end game starts and you can see they start maneuvering their king. Still, Magnus is holding the position, but here Magnus made a mistake. First, Hikaru made a mistake. Here, there was a, so many chances that he could have gone for took sacrifice if he takes. He go here, he comes back, so that cannot happen. He has to hold the position, but the time is under lots of pressure, and here game uh, magnus was out of time and so he resigned hey guys that's all for today let's see you again in the next game review